This video is going to cover the basic operation of the Nikon D80. Um, let me see there, it says D80. Uh, there are, this is a camera that has lots of elements in its menu. There's lots of things that you can do with it, uh, but this is just going to get you started on manual operation. Before we even turn it on, there's a couple things we'll look at. Um, with the lens, it says most of the basic kit lenses have an 18 to 55. All right. The smaller the number, the wider the angle of the lens. And as you move this, it's going to change the framing and the angle of the lens. All right. If you move over here, there you can have the lens on automatic or manual. Uh, with still photography, people often have it on automatic. Uh, when, If you're practicing for moving image, you want to have it on manual so you can learn how to control that as you would in a moving image situation. Uh, here there is a dial that sets um, all your different um, ways that you can shoot. Uh, auto and etc. M is manual. So you want to have it on manual for this demonstration. There are two things that you need to be aware of. One is that they are the D80 is has a rechargeable battery and it's in the bottom there that will slide out and you can there is a charger that plugs into the wall. So you want to make sure that it's charged before you go out to shoot. And then coming around to the side is the SD card. Right, all your images are going to be stored on a sh small SD card. And there are many computers that have an SD slot that you can just slide, the, take it out of the camera, put it into the computer, and transfer your images to the computer or your external hard drive. So those are things on the outside. Uh, we're going to turn it on right here, and this is going to be, you know, where how you trigger to take the images. Uh, first, we're going to, oh, it is on. Oh, we're going to look at some elements in the menu that you will set before you go out to shoot. In general, these will stay the same for most of your um, time shooting. And then after that, we're going to look at the three elements that you're going to, settings that you will change that control exposure. Those are ISO, shutter speed, and f-stop. So first, we're going to look at the settings on the menu that you're going to do first uh, before you even go out to take any images. Along here, alongside of the screen, the second one to the, to from the top is the menu button. If you press that, uh, you will get the menu. It came up to the shooting menu. You can go up and down uh, with this selector. If you go over to push over one, then you will see the different menus. There's the shooting menu, um, custom setting menu, setup menu, retouch menu. So there's a lot of different menus. The thing that we're most interested right at the beginning is the shooting menu and that's the little camera. So we're going to go up there to the shooting menu and jump over. And the things that we want to look at are all in a row here. Image quality, image size, and then we will look at white balance and ISO. So we'll start with image size. In general, here we have large, medium, and small, and it shows you uh, the, re the resolution, the aspect ratio there, and the size, and the storage size. Um, in general, unless you're really concerned about you don't have much storage left, or you have a small card, you want to choose large. So we're going to press OK for image size and choose the largest image that we have storage for. If we go up for image quality and press OK, um, on the Nikon D80, image quality is referring to the quality of the image, but also the um, format that you're going to use. You can shoot in RAW, or you can shoot in JPEG, or you can shoot both in RAW and JPEG. If you are going to be doing a lot 
of manipulation of your images after the fact. If you shoot in RAW, that will give you more control in post-production. If you're just going to take your pictures and really not do a lot later, uh, JPEG is the best choice. It's a very uh, universal format and fine. Again, we want the best quality that we can have. So we're going to choose JPEG fine and press OK. If we continue down, we're going to go to white balance. White balance tells the camera what is um, to what color the light is. At first, you can choose auto. There are many options to match the existing light source you have, and even later you'll learn how to um, control it even more. But at first, it's fine to set it to auto. If you change lighting situations, then the camera will make adjustments for you. So to begin with, auto is fine for white balance. Then those are ones that will all essentially stay the same for the entire time you shoot. If you go down to ISO, this is something that you might change um, as you go through different lighting situations and make different choices for your images. But if we press OK and go into the menu, we will see some familiar numbers. It goes to 100, then 125, 160, 200, and on and on. Again, the smaller the number, the less sensitive the camera is going to be to light. The larger the number, the more sensitive it will be to light. Um, you know, uh, if you double the number going from 400 to 800, uh, you were doubling the sensitivity to light. We're going to choose 800. Again, if you were going to be outside in bright light, you might start somewhere in the 200, 400 range. If you're going to be inside with more subdued light, 800 is a good place to begin. And again, that is one of the three things. ISO is one of the three things that affects directly affects exposure. Um, you can set this here in the menu. And once you're done, if you click menu, you can jump out of it um, and go into shooting mode. Uh, with the D80, there is an ISO button. So if you press that one here, the second up from the bottom, and you look onto this menu in the top, it will show you what your ISO is, and then you can change it with this style. So you can change the ISO not, um, outside of the menu directly on the top of the camera. All right, so there's several places where you can make that adjustment. Uh, so once you have those settings, you are ready to take a picture. And first you're going to have to uh, press the uh, trigger down halfway. And what that will do is give a the, do the internal light meter and the camera is going to tell you what your shutter speed and your f-step are. Those are the two, um, two numbers here that pop up when you press the trigger down halfway. So um, your shutter speed is on the left, the f-step is on the right. In some Nikon uh, cameras, on the back, you, when you hit that, you will get some sort of interface and it will show you the light meter reading and what the camera thinks is a proper exposure. With the D80, you actually do have to look through the um, eyepiece and when you do that, there will be a scale that will have uh, plus on one side, negative on the other side, plus um, overexposed, negative, underexposed, and then it will have a place in the middle. The camera is going to have an average that it thinks will be good. And as you change your shutter speed and your f-stop on the camera, you, you'll see this uh, guide line going up and down. Uh, once it hits the middle, that is the camera's recommendation for a proper exposure. It's good then to take that picture, see if you like it, do it a little brighter, do it a little darker, um, and see which image you like. Uh, uh, doing several exposures it's, um, uh, with different f-stops, different shutter speeds is called bracketing. And that is a good thing to do to start getting accustomed to how your camera works and what how you want your image to look. So here the left is the shutter speed. And if I turn this bottom one, I will get the shutter speed changing. 
And if I turn the one that's sort of with my trigger finger here in the front, that will change my f-stop. So I'll change those, and as I do them, right, in, as I look inside the camera, it's good. This uh, the guide is going to be going up and down, right, telling me whether it should be properly, ex whether the camera thinks it's properly exposed, overexposed, underexposed. Once you hit the point where the camera thinks it's good, you take your picture. And let's see, and that one was a bit too dark, so a little bit overexposed. But also all of those um, uh, settings come up and show you what that is. So um, after that, again, take several exposures and see which ones you like the most. Um, so at, once you're done, you turn it off. You come get your SD card, you take that to your computer, and then each image will be a separate JPEG file that you will put onto your hard drive. Again, uh, as you first thing you want to do, go to your menu, choose your main settings, all right, then choose your ISO, and then for each image, you can rotate back and forth. Again, the bottom one for shutter speed, the top one for f-stop and they are displayed right here on the top of your camera and also they will be displayed in the eyepiece. You will see it right across along the bottom and that should get you started.